In this lesson, you will discover the font library and how you can make the most of it. The learning objectives are accessing and using the font library and considering font family pairing and legibility. A great new feature that landed with WordPress 6.5 is the ability to access and use the font library. This tool simplifies font management across your site, allowing you to install, use and remove custom fonts. Think of it as a media library for fonts. Just as you can add and upload photos to the media library, you can now do the same with fonts. Any installed font, whether by you or the theme distributor, can be selected when editing. To get started, click on the global styles icon top right in the site editor, select typography, and then click on manage fonts. Below library, you will see your installed fonts as well as the ones defined in the theme. If you want to upload a licensed web font from your computer, click on upload and then select the file. If you can't install fonts, it might be due to restrictions from your hosting provider. Contact your host and ask to enable font installation or consider switching to a more flexible hosting plan. To install fonts from Google Fonts, click on the Install Fonts tab. For the first time, you would need to allow WordPress to connect to Google servers. You can revoke access at any time. When you click on the three vertical dots, you can merely click on Revoke Access to Google Fonts. The fonts you install will be downloaded from Google and stored on your site. That means it's locally hosted. Locally hosted fonts make your site faster and protect your visitors' privacy. Let me explain a bit further. If your fonts are locally hosted, a visitor to your site doesn't need to connect to Google's servers to access the files. You therefore minimize load times and avoid sending user data to Google. And this ensures compliance with data protection regulations. If you know the name of the font you want to use, search for it directly. In this case, Meriwether. You can also filter the category to display specific typefaces. When you select a font, you will notice a single variant or multiple variants. So the font library therefore provides granular control over different weights and styles, encouraging you to be mindful of which font variations you install and enable. Next, let's discuss pairing font families. Font families are groups of related typefaces that share common design characteristics. For example, serif fonts like Georgia Pro or Times New Roman have small lines or decorations at the ends of the letters, giving them a classic formal look. On the other hand, sans serif fonts such as Arial or Helvetica lack these decorations, providing a clean, modern aesthetic. While it might be tempting to use a variety of fonts to make your design stand out, mixing too many fonts creates a cluttered, inconsistent look and slows down loading times. It's best to stick to two flexible, high-quality font families to maintain a harmonious, professional design and ensure fast load times. A common practice is to use one font for headings and another for body text and apply different styles to special elements like quotes or callouts. This approach keeps your design cohesive. Let's look at an example. I decided to use a serif and a sans serif that complement each other. For headings, I selected Meriwether and Ubuntu Sans for body text. Meriwether grabs attention with its classic and sophisticated style and Ubuntu Sans keeps the body text bold yet easy to read. Setting the pull quote to a light italic weight and style highlights the special text with a distinctive touch, without loading a third family. This pairing creates a unified and effective design that balances impact with readability. Lastly, let's talk about legibility. You also need to ensure that the fonts you choose to present your texts are legible. This visual aspect of readability means that the textual content across your site is clear. The letters are distinct and well designed. The font size is big enough and the colors have sufficient contrast against your background colors. Avoid overly decorative fonts, usually cursive typefaces, that can be difficult to read, whether for yourself, visually impaired people, or visitors whose native language is different. And to conclude, 
easy to read font should always be a top priority in your design decisions.